Okay, back again with another update on the Black Sea ships, and I can actually say that I now have my first finished boat, British frigate. So what I've done to finish this off is obviously I posted a video of the rigging. So the ne next step was to attach the uh, ratlins, which are these things here, and then of course the sails. So with the ratlins, I've used these brass etched ratlins from uh, Meridian, which is um, Navy Navy models and books is the website, but essentially you can see here, you um, they come in different sizes and then there's some small ones here and then the larger ones and then for the larger ones for like the main mast and all that you can essentially trim them to the height and the width that you need them to be, and then just a dab of super glue. Um, I found found actually the gel super glue is the best um, thing to use because it's a bit easier to work with doesn't quite go off just quite as quick um, gives you a little bit of time just to place it and what you do is you fix the bottom first make sure it's square with the mast and then just a little dab and then fix it up at the top one of the issues with these ships is the the, the actual yard on the main sail should in reality be much further forward um, but because of an injection molding and all that, they've had to put it a little bit closer, obviously, to get it out, make it come out of the mold easier. But that does mean that it kind of gets in the way of the of the ratlins. So what they probably should have done is made these fighting tops or these areas here just a little bit wider, so that it would have been easier to attach the ratlins. But anyway, that's just nitpicking. But anyway. Um, the first, when I put these ones on, I actually didn't paint them first, and then I had to paint them afterwards, which was a little bit of a mistake. So what I do now is I paint them on the sprue. Um, takes a few coats because the, the the brass doesn't wet very easily with the with the paint, so you have to have a couple of coats, but it, it's not a big deal. Um, and then. All you have to do is once you trim the shape is just touch up the little bits of exposed metal because you'll you'll snip them with either a, a scalpel blade or um, a little pair of snips um, to get them to shape and that'll expose a little bit of the metal and you just top it up top to, uh, cover it back up with a bit of black once it's affixed to the ship so these are the ratlins so i've attached those um which i think they look really really good i so glad I actually went this way than, than the acetate ratlins that are supplied with the box or even, you know, probably with going with the with the thread. Um, again, um, I, it's really just a question of that. My, um, my time is more important to me, so uh, I'd rather just get these done with these etched ratlins, um, which I think in the end look better anyway. But they are, they're not cheap, so it probably doubles the cost of a model. Um, but uh, I'm going to be using these for years to come, so I want them to, to last, I want them to look good, so I've gone with the brass etched ratlins. And then the last thing was to attach the sails, so um, in the box you get two colour sails, you get a lighter colour and you get a darker colour. Uh, I've got, I initially went with the lighter colour for this ship. So I popped it out. Um, they're a bit yellow and they didn't kind of blend in very well with the model. So I did a practice test of putting a, a stain over it. And what I used was the same contrast paint which I used for the whole model, which is the um, Skeleton Horde contrast paint. Again, you could probably use something like Army Painter Soft Tone, which I think I have some here. Yeah, you could probably use some Army Painter Soft Tone. Um, or even maybe a sepia type wash, um, the old Graffoni sepia from G Games Workshop, if you had some of that, although that might be a bit too dark. So I decided to um, give the sails 
uh, a wash. You can see I did a little test here. Uh, and then I gave a couple of, it ended up being a couple of coats of the skeleton hoard on the sails. Makes them look a bit more weathered. You can still see the sail detail from the printing. And it also has a nice thing, it does the edges of the sail as well. So that it all blends in. And I think it blends in better with the, the overall model. Um, because the model and the basing kind of looks a bit painterly. So by putting the wash on the sails, it makes them kind of look painterly as well. So it all blends in nicely. So um, just one thing that you, you want to get a nice curve on the sails. So for what, what, what you do um, uh, is when you take a, one of these out, which I just, this is one I prepared earlier, um, just took it out. And then you just use something like I used a just a, a pen or a pencil, round pencil, smooth, round, don't want one of these hexagon pencils. And then just holding it like that and then just essentially curling it around so you get a nice curl and you don't get a crease. You don't want a crease in the sail, you just want a nice curl. Easy like that. And it will hold. And then it's a case of just a bit of gel, super glue. And then attach it, make sure you're going underneath the rattling. You can see a bit there. If you go underneath the rattling, um, I suppose there's really only one way they go on uh, once this rigging's in the way. Um, glue that with a bit of um, uh, gel super glue again. And then when dry, like I said, if you if you don't like the look of the, the printed sail, just a little bit of, um, of wash helps. Um, tie it all together so there so yeah so that's the finished ship it has taken a bit of time but I guess I, I, I've really been impressed with these models so I really wanted to try and uh, make them look the best they could possibly do and like I said before I'm going to be having these using these for years to come, come so I, it's worth the effort to, to make them look good now um, Actually, with all the rigging and the and the sails and that and the, and everything in place, the the masts are now are really quite rigid. So um, it's actually a lot more um, secure and 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 stronger. I guess if you still dropped it, you'd probably break the break the uh, mast. But but just any accidental knocking of it, you're not going to accidentally snap off a bit of a mast now that all this rigging's in place. It's actually doing what it does in real life, and that's actually stabilise all the masts. So. So it's definitely worth doing all the proper rigging. Um, but yeah, so my first ship. Um, got uh, obviously another frigate, another four brigs to do. Uh, and you can also see over here, I've got a bunch of third rates that are um, just finishing off the base now. So uh, I've done the um, the blue colour, now I've just got to go back and do the, the white on the base and then gloss varnish and then straight into the rigging. Um, and then, yeah, so three British third rates and I've got another three French third rates line on the desk over there. Um, waiting for their turn to be painted and I've got a couple of first rates as well so I've still got quite a lot of ships to go um, to finish this this first batch um, of, of uh, ships but um, essentially yep a finished ship so if you've got any questions put some comments in the video um, or you can Catch me on uh, Twitter uh, or the Facebook group. I'm on the Black Sales Facebook group regularly. So, um, and I'll be posting these, this video on, on both Twitter and on uh, the, um, the Black Sales uh, Facebook group. So, um, yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, make put a comment in. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.